Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So you probably heard about Aurora Nano Leaf. Those are these triangles that light up. So when I saw them, I was like, okay, I need to have this in my setup, but the price, man, those are 200 bucks for those nine triangles. Taught it myself and realized that I can actually create them myself. So in this video, I'm gonna model them, design them, and show you the, my idea behind of how they're supposed to work. And in the next video, in a part two, we're gonna actually create them out of aluminum and not the plastic, like original ones. Enjoy. Right, so right now I'm modeling the Aurora Nano Leafs in 3ds Max and I'm actually doing with the real dimensions and real lighting. So each individual LED in the strip is actually 0.24 watts I believe. So we have three LEDs in here and in here and here as well. But as you can tell it's not enough light and you can tell that this middle section is dark. So we'll have to add double the LEDs uh, in theory to have enough light. So here is the model really simply. We have the diffus on top, which the bottom is actually really reflective, and then aluminium all around. So uh, I'm gonna double the light and we'll see the result. Okay, so <clears throat> now I doubled the strength of the LEDs, like I actually have a two, two strips, and you can tell that it's better now. It's still not perfect, I'm a little concerned about it right now, so I'm thinking of the possibilities so can I possibly squeeze in more LEDs in this corner or should I actually make the triangle a little bit smaller so everything looks smooth I believe I'll need another three LEDs so I need like what three by three nine LEDs in each corner in order to light this triangle up perfectly um, so um, I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do I'll have to um, increase let me show you here increase the glossiness, I mean decrease the glossiness and make it more like a matte type of mirror. So let's see now how it will go. Yeah, you can tell that it looks way better. Yeah, the goal is actually to have a great reflective surface and then I believe even as, uh, less intense uh, LEDs will be able to light up. But this is perfect right now. Um, so yeah, let's actually try to create this in real life. So the biggest problem is to create this uh, cover at the top. I do have a material I'm gonna make it from, but it's really hard to cut uh, because I don't have any power tools. Anyways, the material is here. I, I finally started to label them. So you can see I have the reflector, you have the diffuser, and then paint and stuff. Yeah, I think this will look perfect, uh, but we'll see when I create a prototype and uh, then I'll be able to see how much of the LEDs I need and how much I can squeeze in. It's just way easier to see in real life now on this. By the way, the dimensions are 30 by 30 by 30, so it's pretty large. And I'm gonna have about one meter and 20 centimeters across. So it's going to be uh, basically going from all the way here and then all the way there. So pretty, pretty long. Really excited about it. So the this, you know, uh, surrounding, how it's called, but, um, will be made out of aluminum. So I'm gonna use L-shaped aluminum and then uh, bend it into the a proper shape. So I can now double these and make them into actual shape that I'm gonna use just to see how it looks. Okay, so there we go. This is the final design I'll go for. Okay, so after a lot of thinking, I actually decided to try out uh, different designs. So here you can see all of them uh, and the one that I just show you wasn't the final one. This is the final design I'll go for. Uh, tell me down below what do you think and maybe I can even change it anyways You'll be able to customize each of these individually So I'm going to use Arduino for that. I'm going to explain that later um, I still have to figure it out completely. I kind of have a rough idea how I'm going to do it But I'm going to need a couple more pieces So I'm going to have about 20 uh, 28 uh, wires coming from the control and then going all the way here and then we're going to use Okay, so quick update on Aurora Nano Leaves. Um, I decided to go for the digital LEDs because the thing I had in plan before was just too complicated and uh, I could do it. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's still really a lot of job to be done. So over here I have the Arduino. So this Arduino Uno is going to be way more than enough. And uh, here are the LED strips. Oh, they're already open. So let me try to get them and see. 
Okay, so these are plus and minus, and then you have these, which is the, well, I'm not really sure what, so. Okay, we'll figure this out. So these are black, I like black. And these are digital, as I said, so each of these can light up individually, which is awesome. So we'll be able to create all of those effects and stuff. Also going to have them behind the monitors, where these ones are. So I'm going to have, uh, you know, waves and stuff going in the same direction, stuff like my keyboard, mouse, and the mouse pad that I'm waiting it should arrive soon as well, like in a couple of days. So we're going to use... Okay, guys, so I got the first triangle, and this is going to be the, for a prototype, as you can tell, it's going to look pretty nice. So this one is 26 or 20, 26, I believe. So I decided to go with a little bit uh, smaller ones. I think it's going to look pretty, pretty nice anyways. It's going to be about a meter across when I add them up, I believe. So, or not, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, so now I'm going to create a frame with LEDs and stuff and see how will this look. Okay, so this is the first kind of working prototype. I'm going to power it up and see how well does it light up and I'm going to add a reflective surface on the back so you can see how, how it's going to look and then we're going to darken out these areas around here and right there and over right here so we're going to have quite a bit of space light up uh, yeah so it's obviously the back side <laughs> so don't get confused and this is the front uh, Okay, so just realized that I didn't record it, the prototype version, my phone died, yeah. But uh, everything lighted up pretty nicely, even with three LEDs per corner. Tomorrow, when I actually build one out of aluminium, I will show you how it looks. So you, don't worry, you won't be missing on anything. But that's about it for this video. Uh, hopefully you get an idea how everything gonna work, and hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you tomorrow.